Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Minx Laura123 and this is going to be a book unhaul video, something I don't think I've done before. Normally I do book hauls where I show you books that I've just got that I'm excited to read. This video is going to be about books that I'm getting rid of. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I would do it. Now I'm selling these books, all of them that you're going to see in this video, on eBay. I've got two bundles that I've done, two book bundles. So the first bundle is a young adult book bundle and the other bundle is a thriller, mystery, crime kind of theme bundle. So if you want to bid on these bundles, please do. I'll put the links down below to the eBay listings for both of the book bundles. How many times have I said bundle in this video so far? Okay, right, so uh, I'm going to show you each book, tell you a bit about it, etc. So uh, maybe you'll get some ideas for books that you'll want to read. And uh, I've started both the <laughs> book bundles at 99p. So I mean, you know, come on, it's a bargain, right? So glasses are on. I mean business when the glasses go on. So I'm going to show you the uh, YA young adult book bundle first. And um, we're going to start with this book here. This was absolutely amazing. So it's by the lovely author Courtney Summers. And uh, it's called Some Girls Are. And this is like, if you like your kind of uh, gritty, raw thrillers, like this is for you. I've got another... Uh, Courtney Summers book as well here so I might as well show you both together this is full for anything so yeah two Courtney Summers books she honestly she is one of my favorite authors now I love 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 her writing style so I'll tell you about this one then I'll tell you about this one so yeah first of all this is Some Girls Are and it says sometimes it's better to keep your mouth shut <laughs> that's what my fiance says to me <laughs> I thought it was funny. Anyway, so, um, climbing to the top of the social ladder is hard. Falling from it is even harder. Regina Afton used to be a member of the fearsome fivesome, an all-girl clique, a uh, clique, a <laughs> clique, <laughs> an all-girl, God, <laughs> I've been on the whiskey, an all-girl clique, both feared and uh, revered by the students at Hallowell High. That is until vicious rumours about her and her best friend's boyfriend started going around. Uh, now Regina's been frozen out and her ex-best friends are out for revenge. If Regina was guilty, it would be one thing. But the rumours are far from the terrifying truth and the bullying is getting more intense by the day. She takes solace in the company of Michael Hayden, a misfit with a tragic past, whom she herself used to bully. Friendship doesn't come easily for these one-time enemies, and as Regina works hard to make amends for her past, she realises Michael could be more than just a friend. Um, if threats from the fearsome or foursome don't break them both first, tensions grow and grow, and the abuse worsens as the final days of senior year march towards an explosive conclusion in this dark new tale from the author of Cracked Up To Be. Um, so that's that one. And now it's time to tell you about this one. So yeah, full for anything. It says here, when Eddie Reeves' father commits suicide, her life is consumed by the, the nagging question of why. Why when he was a legendary photographer and a brilliant teacher? Why when he seemed to find inspiration in everything he saw? And most important, why when he had a daughter who loved him more than anything? Um... When she meets Colour Evans, a former student of her father and a photographer himself, an instant and dangerous attraction begins. Colour seems to know, sorry, yeah, Colour seems to know more about her father than she does and could possibly hold the key to the mystery surrounding his death. But Eddie's vulnerability has weakened her and Colour Evans is getting too close. Her need for the truth keeps her hanging on, but are some questions better left unanswered? And uh, honestly, as I say, if you've never read a Courtney Summers book, like seriously, check out her books. She She's an amazing author. So these two are in the bundle, as is this little quick read here. It's only a little small one. Uh, it's called Killjoy by Holly Jackson. Um, this was just a little book from uh, World Book Day. And it's kind of like uh, a murder mystery themed book. Six suspects, three hours, one murder. Uh, so it says, Pippa Fitz and Amobi is not looking forward to her friend's 1920s themed uh, murder mystery party. But when the game begins, Pip finds herself drawn into the make-believe world of intrigue, deception and 
murder. <laughs> you have to sign a Scottish accent, don't you? Murder. It's murder. Anyway, as Pip plays detective teasing out the identity of the killer clue by clue, the murder of the fictional Reginald Remy isn't the only case on her mind. Um, yeah, I mean, I love her other book. She did, obviously, a, girl's, a Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Good Girl, Bad Blood. There's a new one coming out this year, like the third in the series. I wasn't particularly keen on this book, but I do think it's cool in a way, but just not for me, if that makes any sense. But anyway, if you are a fan of Holly Jackson... There. Um, next one is this one here, and this is called Last One to Die by Cynthia Murphy. This was a really weird one. It was a thriller, and then towards the end, I'm not going to give spoilers by the way, but towards the end, it got a little bit spooky, weird. But anyway, a really, really cool book, which is, yeah, I didn't expect the spookiness. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, huh? Mm? Um, I'm trying to see. Where's the bit about it? Hold on. Nope. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, okay, so Nima is in London for a summer of fun and freedom, but young women are being attacked across the city and she quickly discovers they all look scarily similar to her. Uh, can her new friends all be trusted? Can she shake off the feeling that someone is watching her? And will she stay one step ahead of the killer or will she be next? So yeah, a thriller with a kind of creepy, weird vibe to it. <laughs> Okay, uh, the next one is Holly Bourne. I love Holly Bourne books. Like, there's been a couple that I've not been that keen on, but most of all, like, most of them I've really, really enjoyed. She's such a great writer. Um, her new one I've already got pre-ordered. Ha ha! So, uh, really excited for that one. This is the manifesto on how to be interesting, loving the orange sprayed edges. Um, I did get this book originally from a charity shop, so it's not, like, tip-top condition, as you can see. But it's still got that orange sprayed edge thing going on um this one was really really interesting and really fun I, I love this one um so let me read the back to you it says apparently i'm boring well i am <laughs> apparently i'm boring and nobody but that's all about to change because i'm starting a project here now for myself and if you want to come along for the ride then you're very welcome Brie is by no means popular. Most of the time she hates her life, her school, and never their parents, and so she writes. But when Brie is told she needs to uh, stop shutting the world out and start living a life worth writing about, the manifesto on how to be interesting is born. A manifesto that would change everything. But the question is, at what cost? Honestly, this was really cool. I loved it. I got to the end of it and I was gutted because I was like, oh, I'm going to miss all the characters now. Uh, really, really good book. So that's there. Um, also, this book is in the bundle. It is by Steve Camden. It's called Nobody Real. I have to be honest, I got this because, or well, two reasons. First of all, I really love Steve Camden's book called Tape, which I, I can honestly say is one of my favourite books of all time. I, I love Tape so much. It was so good. If you've not read it, check it out. Um, and, and the second reason is I was drawn to this cover because look at it. It's just really cool. Like The artwork on it is just really cool. However, I, I, I don't know, I started reading it, I got like a couple of chapters in and thought, it's just not for me, I'm just not feeling it, I'm just not enjoying it, um, which is really sad, but anyway, um, so she's real, he's not, together they're everything, um, so Marcy is real, with real problems, for years she's been hitching a ride on the train of her best friend Carl, uh, sorry, Cara's life, now there's only one more summer together, um, until they're off to uni just like they planned but Marcy has a secret and time is running out for her to decide what she really wants years ago Thor was also Marcy's friend before she cast him out back to his own world time is running out for him too if he doesn't make a decision soon he's going to fade he's going to face the fade but Thor is not real and that's a real problem I mean it is original and it is different but I, I couldn't get my head around it like imaginary friends and stuff I just I didn't get it I, I just it weren't for me so yeah that's for sale um this is the little book the companion book of uh, the movie from netflix uh, enola holmes um by nancy springer um this didn't take long for me to read at all i've still not seen the film i know it's on netflix so i've got netflix there's no excuse why am i not watching it but anyway um so yeah this is uh as i say the companion of of, of the film so it says, when her mother disappears on her 14th birthday, Enola Holmes, Enola Holmes, the much younger sister of the famous detective Sherlock Holmes, uh, suddenly finds herself in the care of her brothers. 
while Sherlock begins to investigate, his brother Mycroft sets about sending Enola away to boarding school, but she has other ideas, deciding to track her mother down herself, but the trail leads to another missing person and the deadly dangerous streets of Victorian East London. Um, it was a really good little mystery adventure and uh, I, yeah, really cute. I did like it. It was all good. Well, I've read it now, so I know what happens. There's no point in me, you know, keeping stuff. Um, by the way, I do keep some of my books. Like, I don't just sell all my books on. Um, I keep books that are in a series. You know, if I've got a certain series, for example, um, you know, Mortal Instruments. Every time I get one, I keep it, you know, in the series. Or if it's a standalone book that I just really, like, I just, you know, connect with and fall in love with as such, I keep it. But if it's a book that I love, but I'm just not going to read again, or I didn't particularly like it, or it was okay, then yeah, I'm going to sell it. And especially with me with thrillers, once I've read a thriller and I know like the ending of what happened, it's kind of like, oh, I don't really need to read it again, I know what happens. Um, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. I'm oh, such a rambler, it's ridiculous. This one is by Ashley Poston, and it's called Bookish and the Beast. So this is the third in the series of the Upon a Con series so the first one i absolutely loved uh Guy Carella. i can't remember what was the second one. Oh yeah the princess and the fangirl that that was okay um for me sadly though like this series has just gone kind of downhill for me like i loved 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 Guy Carella. um so much so i kept it it was one of those books i kept on my bookcase because i adored it uh number two i just it was okay but this one i just did not enjoy it at all I just got really bored of it and you know if you like these kind of books and stuff you'll probably love it but I just found it really obvious really cliche I'm not selling it well am I <laughs> buy these books but look we've all got different opinions and tastes when it comes to books and I think that's great if we all like the same thing it'd be boring um but it just wasn't for me but yeah I still think it's a gorgeous little book cover you know the library and stuff and the little dog and anyway but that and the last one in the book bundle yes I've said the word bundle again is uh, by emma young and it's called here lies the secrets uh this was cool i like this book it's kind of had like a paranormal vibe and a, and a thriller mystery kind of thing um i'm very much into like ghost hunting and stuff and I, I i did really enjoy this one it was cool um so it's been five years since oh by the way i didn't really tell you about this book did i actually um i'll just yeah I'll just move on because otherwise I'll be all night. But anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, it's been five years since her best friend died, but Mia is still haunted by Holly's presence. Uh, in New York for the summer, Mia meets a psychology student, Rev, and is at once intrigued and unsettled by study of paranormal phenomena, hoping it might help her work through her own experiences. She joins Rev's research trip to Haitian House, but as the investigation unfolds, Mia is forced to confront the memories of Holly that she's tried so hard to bury. This was really different, really original. I really, yeah, I really enjoyed this. I like that thriller and the mystery as aspect, but I also really love that kind of paranormal uh, stuff thrown in as well. So yeah, that was good. So they are, I've got to try and hold them up now without dropping them. This should be fun. They are all, <laughs> they are all of the books in the young adult, ah! bundle um as i say starting them at 99p so you know grab yourself a bargain all right the next book um bundle that i'm going to show you are all thriller crime mystery kind of books okay so i'm going to start off with this one here this is troll by db thorne this was fantastic i had never heard of db thorne i've got to be honest but i would definitely read their books again um wow just amazing i read this book in like a day or so because i just could not put it down and needed to know what happened kind of thing um which is always good i always know when i enjoy a, a book because i'm just like you know i can't put it down anyway so um it says on the front here monsters who live online don't always stay there so basically um i'll just read the back to you it's easier uh, years ago fortune gave up on his daughter sophie after a troubled adolescence now she's gone missing, vanished without a trace, and after weeks of investigation, the police have given up on her too. Driven by guilt and a determination to atone for his failures as a father, Fortune takes on the search himself. He soon finds that his daughter has been living in fear of a vicious online troll who seemed to know far too much about her. Could Sophie's disappearance be linked to this unknown predator? Fortune is about to discover that monsters who live online don't always stay there. 
this was so good and really, really interesting. The ending like made me very emotional. It is really, really good. So that's that one. Um, okay, next one is The Understudy, which I really loved as well. I give this like a five star on Goodreads. I love this book. This is a great idea. They've got uh, different um, thriller authors together for this collab, a collab of a book. And it was absolutely fantastic. Um, each author does like a different chapter and different characters. So it's a really interesting concept. So you've got B.A. Paris, Claire McIntosh, Holly Brown and the very lovely Sophie Hanna. Um, so yeah, the understudy, how far would you go to protect your daughter? Um, Carolyn, Bronnie, uh, um, Elise and Kendall are bound together by one thing. Their four daughters are best friends at the highly competitive All of Flynn Academy for the Performing Arts. Imogen Kerwood is a new girl at the Academy and her behaviour is odd from the start. On the day she arrives, bad things start to happen as one threatening incident follows another. The four mothers begin to ask themselves, are their girls in danger? When an attempted murder rocks the school, Imogen is pleased to report that she has an alibi. If she isn't the guilty party, then someone else must be. So, yeah, basically all the mothers get together and uh, it's it's a fascinating, really, really good book. The twists and turns and I love the fact that all the different thriller authors have come together for that. So, yeah, really recommend that. Loved it. Next book is this one here with a big eye on it. I see you. <laughs> anyway, uh, before I go to sleep, S.J. Watson. Um, memories define us. So what if you lost yours every time you went to sleep? Your name, your identity, your past, even the people you love, all forgotten overnight. That's horrible, isn't it? Um, and the one person you trust might only be telling you half of the story. Welcome to Christine's life. Um, this is supposed to be really, really good. I've never read it. I got it from like a charity shop and I don't know, like I know I, part of me thinks it sounds really good and part of me thinks it's not for me kind of thing. So I'm just, you know, I've got so many books that I need to read. So there's no point in me keeping books that I'm probably not going to read. But it has had a really like good, good write up. And the same with this one here. Um, got it just never read it um this is by erin kelly he said she said who do you believe it's one of those like i think it, they're like a married couple so yeah you know who do you believe this one or that one um oh, okay they're not married it's their boyfriend same thing right? <laughs> sort of um right so let me tell you it's about the best suspense you read the in the year don't be dark the little in the hushed aftermath of a total eclipse laura witnesses a brutal attack oh I'm Laura. Uh, she and her boyfriend Kit call the police and in that moment four lives change forever. 15 years on, Laura and Kit live in fear. And while Laura knows she was right to speak out, she also knows that you can never see the whole picture. Something is always hidden. Something she never could have guessed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, once again, like, kind of good. But would I read it? Probably not in a rush to, so... Let someone else enjoy it. Uh, this is by Lisa Gardner. Look for me. Um, so I actually got I got this because I thought it was like a standalone, but it's not. It's part of a series. I mean, you can. Um, I've read some like book reviews on it and stuff on Goodreads. So you you can physically read it as a standalone, but like I think the whole series is about this kind of detective. And I I I think with detective series books, you know, um, I think it's better to read all of them instead of just the odd one. But some people don't care and they just read the odd one. So it's up to you. Um, the perfect daughter or the perfect killer. A family home has become a crime scene. Five people involved, four of them. Mother, stepfather, daughter, son have been savagely murdered. The fifth, the eldest daughter is missing. But did she escape or is her absence evidence of something much more sinister? Detective Dee Dee Warren is on the case, as is survivor turned Avenger Flora Dane. And together they must sense make sense of the clues left behind by a 16 year old girl who is victim or suspect. Ooh. Uh, is silently pleading, look for me. So I think by the looks of it, I mean, Detective Dee Dee Warren is probably from the series. And I reckon, you know, I reckon, I don't know for definite, but Flora Dane was probably in a previous book and now she's, you know, joined her. Um, but yeah, that kind of put me off because I thought, ah, oh, she's it's part of a series, but anyway, this one was fab. I love this book. This is Eleanor Moran's Too Close for Comfort. I'd had this on my bookcase for like a couple of years and I kept like looking at it and looking at it. And then one night I was like, that is going to be my next book. That's the kind of reader I am. I'm kind of like a mood reader. Um, but yeah, this was brilliant. I love this book. So uh, devious, double crossing, deadly, this group of friends 
it's too close for comfort. So uh, Mia Cosgrove is a higher flying psychotherapist with a thriving practice. But when she receives a desperate phone call from her eldest friend, um, uh, sorry, her older, <laughs> sorry, her oldest friend, Lisiette, she puts her London life on hold to rush to her side. Um, a friend of Lisiette, Sarah, has plunged to her death from the top of a multi-story car park. Um, a text message on her phone next to her simply saying, I'm sorry, with a single kiss, left unsent and unaddressed. At first, the police are convinced it's a suicide, but when another death rocks the rural community, Mia is asked to help the ramped up investigation. Why are the close-knit group of mums who surrounded Sarah so reluctant to share what they know about their beautiful, troubled friend? And how high a price will Mia pay for her determination to unearth the truth and discover what really happened? this honestly this was so good i love this book I, I loved all the different women and trying to work out who was nice and not and loved it uh, this one was good as well actually i really enjoyed this one this was uh karen perry's can you keep a secret and uh love the cover i don't know why but i just really like the cover of her like walking into the gates and the yellow coat and stuff there uh 20 years of secrets one weekend for the truth Lindsay, oh it's time for reunion, Lindsay hasn't spoken to Rachel in 20 years, not since her brother's 18th birthday party at their parents remote country house, um, a night that shattered so many friendships and left Rachel's father dead, now Thornbury Hall is up for sale and the old gang are back there together again and a weekend to say goodbye to the place and to talk about the past but 20 years of secrets aren't given up lightly some won't speak about what happened that night while others want to ensure that no one does surviving the weekend might depend on whether you can keep a secret can you keep a secret i can sometimes <laughs> um yeah this is really really good like this um and she also done a book called girl unknown which i loved so the other two as part of a bundle and these two here um, got Rewind by Catherine Ryan Howard and also The Last Resort by Susie Holiday. So really quickly, um, Natalie knows there's something creepy about Andrew, the manager of her isolated holiday cottage. She wants to leave, but she can't, not until she finds out what she's looking for. Andrew's watching his only guest via a hidden camera in her room when the unthinkable happens a shadowy figure appears on screen kills the woman and destroys the camera this is an explosive story about a murder call on film you've already missed the start and to get the full picture you must rewind the tape and play it through to the end no matter how shocking this was good i love this I literally i lich ah oh, i love this book such a good thriller uh, and this is the last one it's the last result uh seven strangers seven secrets one perfect crime when Amelia is invited to an all-expenses-paid retreat on a private island, the mysterious offer is too good to refuse. Along with six other strangers, she's told they're here to test a brand new product for Timio Technologies. But the guest's excitement soon turns to terror when the real reason for their summons becomes clear. Each guest has a guilty secret, and when they're all forced to wear a memory tracking device that reveals their dark and shameful deeds to their fellow guests, there's no hiding from their past. There is no luxury retreat. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, they can't get out of. Um, as the clock counts down to the lavish end of the day party, they've been promised injuries and infighting split the group. With no escape from the island or the other guests' most shocking secrets, Amelia begins to suspect their only hope for survival is to be the last one standing. Can she confront her own dark past to uncover the truth before it's too late to get out? Um, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I didn't like this one at all. I had to stop reading it, but you might like it. I just, I just didn't. I just thought it was really weird. Um, it sounded good. And then when I got into it, I was like, mm. but that's just my view. What do I know? So they are the books in the thriller bundle. So as I say, down below in the description box, I'll put the listings on eBay, like the links to the listings. So Bid, 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 bid. They're on there for seven days. Seven days. Sorry, I, I always do that because it, it just makes me like, you know the ring when they go seven days. Anyway, um, so if you want to bid, please do. And, um, you know, even if you just want a few of the books out of the bundle, you know, you never know. You might just want a few. You might want all of them. Who knows? But, uh, you know, hopefully there's a book for someone out there watching this video. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. And, uh, you know, if I ever do this again, uh, maybe you'll be interested in 
those books as well. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not used to doing unhauls. As I say, I normally do hauls of new books, but this is something different. I kind of like it. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other channel. Yes, I have two, Minxler123 ASMR. And on that channel, I do videos to help people with anxiety, insomnia, kind of chill out, relaxation, sleep inducing videos. Uh, so yeah, links down below to that. Also social media links down below as well. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, blah, blah, blah. And I have a virtual book club. If you want to be part of the Minx book club, please do join. It's on the Goodreads app. And uh, yeah, the book of the month is a book with a colour in the title. So I'm going to choose uh, the colour purple, for example. That's the one I chose for this month. So I'll see how I get on with that. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Take care of yourself and um, happy reading. Let me know in the comment section down below what book you are currently reading. Um, in case you're in least bit interested, really quickly... This is my current read, House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. Woo, it's a good one. It's really good. Anyway, bye everyone.